predictability for our districts, uh, which is certainly key, fairness, and it's going to be very transparent how money arrives in districts. It's no longer going to be by zip code, but by student. When we hear of government commissions, we hear roadblock. We hear going nowhere. We hear it's a stopping tool, not this commission. Fifteen members, the administration, changes in administrations, Democrat essential control of this commission. We all work together. It was very transparent. Uh, it was very productive, very educational. And the fact that we allowed so much public comment and so much feedback, it kept all of our members home, kept them focused on the end goal, and that is an, a fair funding uh, report. We go from commission members to legislative lobbyists. We've had 11 months, long hours, long days, long hearings, statewide, 15 hearings. Uh, we now have to translate to our colleagues in the House and the Senate what we've learned and why we've come up with the product we've had. So first step was Representative O'Neill getting the legislation passed and signing the law. Second step, you know, establishing the commission and organizing the commission. Uh, third step being we issued a report and now we're in step four which is lobbying, uh, lobbying effort uh, with our colleagues to try to get this passed in the law. We often hear that they're just passing budgets on guesses, whether it's the, the governor's budget address, whoever, whoever the governor is. This will provide them predictability year to year after that first year. They're going to know if their weights or measures have not changed, that then their formula, their money probably will not change. And I think that's key in this, the predictability.